Hi guys, welcome back. Today, picked up a couple of these tail smoothers. I will leave the link where I bought them below, so if anybody interested, they can pick these up. Uh, I'm not sure where they're going to work. If anyone doesn't know what they are, it's supposed to smooth out the signal from your digital stepper motors. Uh, they go in line, so it might work, might not. Sometimes you might get artifacts, salmon skin, that type of uh, artifact, so it might work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them on and then I'm going to do a couple of prints and see if these things work. So I'll open one up first, one's already open. These things are cheap, it comes in different ones. This one's an 8 diode, so there's 8 diodes to smooth things out. The other one's with 4 I think, but you might as well have the 8. It just comes in a board like this with a patch cable. How it works is I've got two for X and Y, but you could put one on the Z as well. I don't really know. So I do have a spare board. This is the board that I'm using, which has got Marlin flash to it. 1.9, yeah, 1.1, 1 .1, uh, 1 1.19. So where these go, one of them goes in there, and the other one's going to go on. There's your X, Y, Z, and your extruder motor. Two mm. Z's and an X to the motor. So that one's on the X, and then you put the other cable onto that, and it should filter out any. And we can't do any harm. It can only be good. It can't be bad. I would well. I don't know. It might be, but in theory, it can only do good. And the other one obviously goes there. Uh, and if it works, I'd probably get another one. And um, for the Z, uh, maybe even the E motor. I don't know. I mean, you could buy it that cheap, why not put them on all of the models? Yeah, so that's it. Sets up like that. And what more can I say? You just plug it in. Try. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot off to the printer. I'm going to fit this up. I'm not going to do a video showing you how to fit it because basically you just plug it in. You take the cable out, you plug it in there, and you're aware. Might put some insulation on the back. So nothing touches so when it gets into where, where I keep this board it's quite a tight fitting and this cables run all over here so if I insulate it from touching with some uh, hot glue if it does touch anything it doesn't really make any difference uh, but for now I'll probably leave it on the outside so guys we'll be back shortly and then we'll run some prints and see if these things work Hi guys, okay so we've got the printer running and uh, this is a, we've got the tail smoothers attached so I've already printed one out to save some time without the tail smoothers. Uh, this one's got the tail smoothers on, we're running exactly the same G code, uh, same speed, same everything, 100, 100 on the speed, yeah 100 on the speed, we've got 205 uh, centigrade on the hot end and 55 on the bed everything else is the same same G code while I was just waiting for this I just want to talk about this bed uh, to say I'd say it's making another video I've got a, a, a flexible bed and one where you just flex off uh, it's got a black uh, sheet on the other side but I've been just using the steel side the metal side I've put this uh, builders tape on and this builders tape is working absolutely fantastic guys I've gone back to using this as an experiment now with when I'm using it with this it just seems to be the ideal surface to grip onto uh, we all know how builders tape works but with this flexible sheet it's just brilliant I must have put about between 50 and 80 prints with the same tape. I've never changed the tape for like over a month. Yeah, loads of little things like this. Uh, I've also printed in the center multiple times, and it just works. But the best thing, I don't clean it. I don't do anything. All I do is just put a new print on because I don't touch it. I just pop it off. You don't need to touch the center. Uh, as you can see there's a few little lines, I might see a few little little line there, little line there. 
that's just where the, when I first setting it up, I went a bit too low, uh, just in the height, the Z height, and it pushed it into the paper and you can't get it out because it's actually embedded in. So I've just left it, it doesn't make any difference. When you pop it off, it still, still comes off. Uh, but yeah, fantastic guys. Try it out for yourselves, it works really good. Right guys, so we're back at the computer desk as the, the last print, so we printed two out. Uh, this one is with and this one's without. Let me just take them pens out. So that's the one I've done recently. Same G code, same everything. Let me pop it off first. So, There you go, get that out of the road, and so, I'll just move my chair a little bit, okay, so, this one's with TL Smoothers, yeah, I'm just going to write on, oh, I don't need to, can't find my pen anywhere, that's one with, that's the one I've just done, that's the one I've done beforehand. Let me just have a little look to see whether it. Oh yeah, yeah. If you get the light, you've got to like twist it so you get the light just right. And it's going to be difficult for you guys. You've got to sort of turn me red for it in a way. But this one with the lines, I can see the. The lines running uh, across this way are far s smooth. There's a little tiny bit of herringbone effect on the ones without. I mean, I'd be happy with that. In fact, that's, I was happy with that one before. Uh, but the one with the tail smoothers, it's it, all you can see is you can actually see the layer lines going up. You see the layer lines going up, but it's it's just the layer lines. There's nothing else. And when I just turn it around, all the way around, there's ever so slight bit on this side, but you can definitely see it when you get the light right. Yeah, dimensions are the same. Yes, uh, I mean this is PLA. So I don't want to like crush it or anything. It's only one layer, one layer thick. But without a doubt, uh, with tail smoothers, definitely work. I can say that 100% on my machine. Oh yeah, when I when I get the light just right, the lights bouncing off this way, I can see a little bit of stepping effect. I don't know what that's called. I don't know. It might it might be like a salmon skin. I think it might be called. But when I get the right angle, which is the, once I get the right angle on this, this is the good one. Yeah, it's definitely not there. So I'm just looking at the third one down, the third segment down. I'm just trying to get the light just so we, it bounces right. But yeah. It's hard for you guys to see, you know, if I put it in a microscope or something, I'll get really close, but I don't want that to pick it up. That's with 
If you look where the light's bouncing off, that's with tail smoothers. Yeah. See if I can get the same. You can choose to say C. Some artifacts there. It's really difficult to see. On, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but believe me, it's, it's definitely better. Uh, looking at the inside, it looks nicer on the inside as well, which you should, which you, which you'd expect. The base looks the same. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. Definitely better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one more tail smooth and put that on the on the e motor uh, because it's a definite result. Anything which makes the machine. I'm not saying it's going to work on your machine, but it's definitely work on mine. Uh, it's not like massively better, but when you run your fingers over, you can actually well you can just see definitely some artifacts going on. I think that is because it's going up on a spiral. It's going up like it's going up like on a spiral. It, all your axes are working. It's not just going along and making like a square. I dropped it there. It's not just going along and making like a square box, and you can see it easy. This is probably not the best one to see it on, I suppose. But uh, I can see the difference straight away. Oh yeah, hundred percent better. So yeah, that looks like it's a positive result for the tail smoothers. So I'm just going to, if you look here, I've got the screen. Uh, this is just off eBay, so I've picked mine up. They're dead cheap. The ones I got were these ones here. Yeah, they're the ones I put on, which has got the... I mean, it might not be the exact board, but that's what it looks like. Uh, that's simple, yeah. There's a version on the back there. Yeah. We'll leave a link if anyone needs that link, but there's different versions. Uh, loads of different ones. Uh, some have six, some have eight. Uh, diodes, they're slightly different. This is the type I, I've got on. I think that I'll do the same thing, but you might as well get the same ones. But for the price of them, £3. For four, three three thirty five plus one eighty eight postage. It's not even. It's a no brainer. It, even if it didn't work, it doesn't matter. But it has worked. I'm happy with that. So I'm definitely going to buy. I'll probably buy another four. In case some go, but once you play around with the, oh yeah, bloody hell! It's like you've got. These guys can't see it. Obviously, what I'm seeing, but. This is a funny model list because it's got two segments on one side and then the next one's got four segments. So like this this side you can't say but this side's got four, that one's got two. So there's like multiple angles. Quite a clever pattern actually. Guys, hope you like this uh, video for this. If you did thumbs up, uh, it's just a short video to see whether this thing's worked and I can definitely say yes it's worked for me. So I'm happy with that. So what I'll do now is I'll let them dangling out the sides. I'll, I'll cable tie them up to the sides of the power box where and keep them nice and safe. So they don't move around and get pulled around. Now I'll buy two more and then what I'll do is I'll, I probably won't do another video just to say that because it does work. Uh, and I'll probably mention it in another video of something else, some 3D print. I'll probably like just put in, by the way, they have worked or they haven't worked on the e motor. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to test that, like, but, uh, but anyway, it might make it, I don't know, might make it better, might not, but we'll try it. Guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.